What's poppin' people, it's Dante. Just came out of this uh, really awesome bookstore with something new in my hands. We have Daido Moriyama. This book is apparently one of 300 copies. The binding is interesting. It's got this like very special material. Dear Mr. Neeps. Signed by Daido himself. And the paper is very delicate. The binding is kind of uh, interesting. I'm interested in this. It's like stapled shut. It seems very um, handmade, right? But here we go. My first uh, real Daido book. Very nice bookstore, by the way. Oh, this photo. I really need to be taking pictures right now. <laughs> but I, I could spend all day in this bookstore. It's so nice and uh, just excited to finally have my hands on a Dido book. And this one is just so unique. It's so weird. It's so weird. I, I, like this cover is so intriguing. I had to get this one. I just had to. They said that the color book by Gary Winogrand is gonna be in next week. New book. They had Bruce Gilden's latest work. Some good stuff in there. They had the original Europeans by Brisson. Like 650 euros. Nothing by Ache. But, alas, I've acquired a Daido masterpiece. This is just incredible. In love with this. Just flipping through the whole thing quickly. Because why not? You can see how lightweight the paper is, but I like that. It's like a, this is just a delicate book. Wow, look, it's the first photo ever made in France, in Burgundy, I believe, that's where. Yeah, look, Burgundy. This is so meta. <laughs> There it is again. Such an interesting book, wow. The one place on earth that I and any other photographer in the world would consider as sacred has to be a small town in central France called saint Loup de Varennes. There once was a scientist named Joseph Nisephore Nives. That's the name of the photographer? With a sign, yeah, right? Isn't this the guy who took the, took the first picture? Who 196 years ago passionately captured the summer scenery that he saw from the window of a certain house in that town. The resulting image was titled View from the Window of Le Gras and became known as the first photograph in history. How did I not, yeah, Neefs. This is such a special book. Another couple of years later, I traveled to Texas, USA to see with my own eyes the view from the window of Le Gras in the photograph. Now no longer showing a discernible image that was on display at the Harry Ransom Center, University of Texas. From there, that scenery from 196 years ago composed exclusively of parts of light and shadow has continued to provide me with a quiet impulse and certain stimulus over a long period of time. This book, Dear Mr. Nice, contains photos of all kinds of things as Nice's old work 
place in St. Lou that I had shot during my visit, as well as the snapshots of the surrounding scenery, and one picture capturing the view from the window juxtaposed with various images taken in and around my own place. He worked with large photographing apparatus while I use a compact camera that easily fits into the pocket of my jeans. Def definitely operating on quite a different scale. I'd sure say so, Mr. Dido. <laughs> so I actually purchased this book without even knowing the history. It's funny. I was just like, this is just so cool. Hey, look, the more you know, right? You learn. Outside of the La Chambre Nouvelle, Nouvelle Claire. Good, uh, good bookstore here in Paris. All right, let's go shoot.